Let's talk about two different medical preps that you should be getting right now before they become difficult to acquire due to regulation. These preps could easily save your life or someone else's life in an SHTF scenario, but soon they might not be as accessible as they are right now. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about a couple different medical preps I have here on the workbench that could easily become a little more difficult to acquire here in the future. They are already regulated because they're medical devices, and the FDA regulates medical devices that are either over-the-counter or prescription only, regardless of what their use is intended for. And different medical devices have classes, and class one, two, and three is how they categorize what a medical device should have in the sense of regulation. Class one is going to go from anywhere between an elastic bandage up to a surgical kit. Class two is going to be anything like syringes or maybe even absorbable sutures. And class three is going to be all the way up to something like a defibrillator. So you can see that the FDA is constantly regulating these products and trying to make sure that only licensed healthcare professionals have access to them. But with the way things are going, with mandates and everything else happening in the country, more and more people are turning to their own ability to treat themselves in the sense of medical relief. And there's a lot of issues going on right now where people might not be able to get the medical help that they need in their time of need. So a lot of people are looking for devices like this. And this is why I teamed up with Poly Medical, who actually sent me these samples to try out and to check out for all of you to see and to give you an idea of why some of this might be urgent in the sense of requiring a purchase. So I will say that any purchases that's made through Polymedical will help support this channel and the links will be down below for both of these products. Now, first things on the list, the Polymedical four-piece disposable skin stapler training kit, right? This is just a training kit. This is how it's able to be sold on places like Amazon because it's for training purposes only. Yes, the entire kit is sterile. And yes, it has a sterile skin stapler with 55 preloaded wires. It has two sizes of sterile forceps and it has a sterile staple removal tool, okay? So you can understand that even though it's just for training purposes, it's completely sterilized and available for you to acquire via Amazon because of the fact that it's just for training. So if you ever need to practice, you have the ability to at that moment in time. Now, the reason you might want to get this stapler kit before it becomes too hard to acquire is because in October of this year, 2021, the FDA changed the classification of surgical staplers for internal use from a class one medical device to a class two medical device, which obviously means there's going to be more regulation involved with selling those items. Now, this is not an internal stapler by any means, but you can see how easily these devices can be moved into a more regulated category based on different data and based on safety concerns that the FDA decides to have. So if one form of stapler is being targeted in that sense, it's easy to assume that these other types could easily move into another category as well. And Legal Examiner actually talks about surgical staplers and different types that they have, and they even notate that skin staplers are a type of surgical stapler, just not for internal use. So I did want to mention that to let you know why this is something you might want to be looking at right now. And surgical staplers or skin staplers are easy to use and very effective at closing up wounds. And if you don't have a lot of training or you're not somebody comfortable doing something like sutures, or if you don't have the training to actually do them properly, then a skin stapler can actually be more effective, more easy to use, and it can be a little bit better in the sense of being sterile and taking care of somebody's open wound if you don't have that medical training to do proper suturing. So that is something to consider and why a stapler kit is very good to have in your medical preps, okay? So hopefully that information kind of let you know that these items are important to have because obviously sealing up wounds is a big deal and I'm not gonna suture somebody else because I do not trust my skills on that currently, but I will use a skin stapler because it is a relatively easy concept to grasp even if you're somebody like myself. And at the same time, with the changes of categories of surgical staplers just happening a month ago, I would say that you could see these things being regulated to a point of not being able to be acquired very soon. So, wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, the next item on this list of medical preps you should get before they become illegal or are hard to get is gonna be the Polymedical 
37-piece dissection kit. It's the advanced dissection kit. When I say dissection, I want to say it with quotations because the advanced dissection kit has everything you would need to dissect something. And you have to understand that the semantics involved with these items is what allows for them to be sold through these channels. However, they share a lot of similarities with other things that may or may not be prohibited, okay? So, for example, this Polymedical 37-piece advanced dissection kit, right, which is for training for doctors or veterinarians who are in school and want to utilize these tools to train with on their time while they're learning their trade, okay? It has a lot of things you might need if you ever find yourself in a situation where medical help is not as accessible. And especially if you're in a mag or a group or a tribe of some kind where you have a medical expert within that group, these are the tools that that person might need in order to take care of someone. And at the same time, keep this in mind that bartering is a huge deal too and people will need medical care at an shtf event and they will need tools like these whether or not they're rated for training or for actual practice won't make much of a difference at that time now will it okay so this kit in particular it has 20 disposable scalpel blades okay and everything's sterile of course it's got teaser needles driver needles it's got forceps scissors spatulas it's got groove detectors it's got probe rods it's got all this stuff and it's all made out of German steel and it's available. And this kit as well as the stapler kit are both only 25 bucks, all right? So these are items that you can get for your medical preps that are inexpensive because 25 bucks is really not that much in the grand scheme of things when it comes to prepping, as I'm sure you know. And they're very important items to have, especially in a time where receiving medical care might be withheld based on whatever status you may or may not have. Now. Understand that all of this stuff is going to be good to have, and you can also understand why it might be harder to get down the road, okay? Now, here's some information about this kit which might make it more difficult to get as well. And this is just solely based on even just Amazon standards for what the sellers have to deal with, okay? So Amazon seller policy allows some over-the-counter medical devices to be sold without regulation, but most of them are regulated, okay? And generally, something like this is going to fall into that category. And if you're not part of the professional healthcare program, which is a program for Amazon sellers where they can only sell their products to licensed healthcare facilities that have business accounts. If you're not part of that, you can't sell most medical devices or most medical related things, okay? And if you're not a licensed healthcare provider with a business account, you can't buy those things either. So, understand that being able to acquire this is a big deal because because some of the things on Amazon's prohibited list that aren't allowed to be sold through the professional healthcare program all right include skin glue all right surgical kits surgical sutures and many others that you wouldn't think are that big of a deal to buy but you're not allowed to because Medical devices are FDA regulated and marketplaces like Amazon want to make sure that they don't end up in the wrong hands. So luckily for us, this dissection kit is still available because we do need to train and the training it provides can be very valuable. As well as this skin stapler kit, which for training purposes only, is still important for us to know how a skin stapler might work in an SHTF scenario in case we ever come across a different one and then we'll know how to use it. So these are things that I find to be important and that I think are relative to survival and prepping and making sure we have our medical stuff squared away. And they're also items that can easily be inaccessible very quickly. So I wanted to bring all this to your attention. Hopefully the screenshots and everything kind of gave you some ideas about why buying this stuff now might be a good idea as in comparison to waiting until it's no longer available or allowed to be sold to you. And at the same time, gives you some ideas about other medical things you might not have thought about that could broaden your horizons in the sense of being prepared for first aid scenarios. So obviously for training. The last thing I want to mention, and like I said, all of this stuff is linked below in the pinned comment in the description because I want you guys to be able to have access to it. And like I said, I did get these items from Polymedical and they are working with me to provide them to everyone here. But you know, when they reached out to me, I thought, you know, this is actually pretty important stuff. And the fact that it's able to be accessed in the way it is in the sense of ease, 
should probably tell everybody about it before it's no longer easily accessible, okay? And Survival Medicine Handbook. This is a very, very good book to have in tandem with your first aid medical supplies. It gives you all the information you need to deal with survival medicine. And there's even a whole section in there about using things like skin staplers. So having the additional knowledge provided by the literature can make utilizing equipment like this a lot more easy to do and a lot more comfortable in order to train properly and learn how to use it the right way, especially during an emergency. So wanted to share this with you all. Hopefully you had some ideas at least come out of this video. And look, if you don't purchase these things or you don't want to buy through Amazon or whatever it is, totally cool. Hopefully this at least gave you some ideas about other things you probably need to get for your kits or at least some ideas about things that might not be around much longer if everyone has their way. We know the medical industry is being regulated to pieces. And we know that with all the stuff going on right now that people are going to be turning to community or in-home remedies when it comes to treating themselves. And we know that stuff like medical devices are going to be heavier in the sense of regulation because they know what everyone's going to be trying to do to avoid, you know, being part of the deal. So wanted to say that. Hopefully you caught my drift in this video. If you have any questions for me, magicpepper.com. And do not forget the public discord is now open as well. So you can come in, talk directly there. I'm in there. I'm with a lot of other awesome people in there as well. And we will have a good conversation. And if you have questions about this stuff, come ask. So if you want to get to the discord, the link's right up there on my website. And that's all I have left to say. So that's going to be it for Magic Prepper. Coming down with